Hey, what's going on everyone? And welcome to Backwoods Escape. So even though this is actually the channel's very first video and I'm posting it at the very end of 2022, uh, if in an alternate world, if this channel had been launched sooner and I had a bunch of videos on here throughout the whole year uh, and I were doing some end of the year gear of the year awards, top gear of the year award would be going to the product I'm going to be showing you today. And that is the Gossamer Gear, the one. Um, so this is this tent right here. It's a one person shelter. And um, I use this extensively um, over this past year. And um, I absolutely love this product. Um, like I said, if, if I was doing some sort of award show, um, it'd be going to this. Uh, so I'm someone I definitely like very, very lightweight gear. I'm a little bit obsessed with ultra light stuff. You know, I know what it's like carrying a 50 pound backpack going up a, a big mountain. So anytime I can shed some ounces, I jump on that opportunity. And so one of the best ways that I was able to shed some ounces this year was using this one person shelter right here. Again, the product is called The One uh, from Gossamer Gear and it's a one person shelter and it comes in weighing at 17.7 ounces. So super, super, super light, significantly lighter and more compact than my previous shelter, which is this one right here. Um, this is one from River Country Products. I'm not exactly sure uh, the name of the shelter, but it's a two person shelter. Uh, and as you can see right here, um, just comparing it side by side, it's um, significantly bigger, this one right here. And so it takes up a lot more space uh, in your pack and naturally um, it's going to end up being a lot heavier. So I wanted more room in my pack. Uh, I wanted uh, less weight in my pack. And so a great solution to this was the shelter right here. And the other cool thing about this one is that just because it's a one person shelter, it was still very roomy, right? I've seen other one person shelters where when you go inside, I mean, it literally feels like you're, a, you're in a coffin, right? The only way you can sleep is basically like this. But uh, when I lay inside of this one, um, I have plenty of room um, to my left and to my right to just lay things down, my, my other gear that I don't want laying on the ground that side and stuff like that. So it's still a very, very spacious shelter and uh, it's very easy to set up. Um, you're gonna use your trekking poles as the main ways to uh, firm it up and it comes with its own lightweight tent stakes um, that you then use for all the corners and then you're off the races right there. So very, very easy to set up. And it also has a lot of really great features. Um, you know, there's a vestibule that you can use to protect yourself uh, from the elements. Uh, you can easily open that up um, or close it up, um, you know, depending on what you're kind of, whether you're experiencing. So whether it's cold weather or hot weather, um, right? You can kind of increase or decrease the ventilation uh, coming in and out of your tent. Um, there's a nice little mesh pocket on the inside where you can put in your phone or any other smaller items that you don't want to get lost in your tent. And uh, it's just a really, really great shelter overall. I use it extensively uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed this. So uh, I have nothing um, but good things to say about this. Uh, you know, when it comes to gear, um, I always do like to mention any cons, if there are any, everything, there's um, trade-offs, right? There's a perfect solution out there. Um, and honestly, I personally did not experience any downsides to this tent. Um, but, you know, I will say if the conditions were extremely windy, uh, you know, I'm talking about, you know, maybe 30, you know, 25, 30 mile an hour winds, something like that, which I have been in, but just not with this shelter. Um, I'm not 100% sure how it would hold up. I mean, I think it would hold up fine, but, um, you know, that is like the one potential con that I was seeing. But again, uh, I don't find myself in those situations too, too often. Um, so overall, I really have nothing but great things to say uh, about this shelter right here. So if you're looking for a great way to lower some weight in your pack um, this coming season, definitely check out the one from Gossamer Gear. It's about $250. I'll have the link for it below. Uh, I am not associated with Gossamer Gear in any way, shape or form. Um, it's just me reviewing a product that I really enjoy. So hopefully you found this review helpful. If there's any other pieces of gear you would like for me to break down, just let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.